Ding, 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 gather around. How many times do you turn on YouTube and you see one of these? I was 21 years old, I dropped out of college, I'd quit my internship, and I was working and living out of my parents' garage uh, back in New Zealand. Until I came up with the idea to create a trading course, and it changed my life, and I got rich, and you can too. It's funny, all these guys do the same thing. They come in, they show you their great offices, their Learjet, everything. And then they tell you their story of how they started from nothing, this and that. It's not a trader. The business is selling education, selling a course. I don't do that. Let's give you a lesson right now. So if you are in my Discord, you probably seen my long call this morning. Okay, where is it? Hold on. Let's go back here. Okay. Alert. Morning pump incoming. Do not short for the next few hours. That was at 6.51 a.m. By 7.30 a.m., ETH was skyrocketing. And then, here's the results of what I did. Okay, if you followed me, you got, I don't know, roughly what? 90% on each position? Not bad. But I have a different lesson for you that's critical. So... The ultimate game of FOMO is when do you take profits? So I'm going to show you something, a little case study here from this morning. Okay, here's this position. Do you sell now? Do you sell now or, or do you get out of a trade here? Or here? This is a personal decision you really have, or here, that you really have to decide. So here's what, what happens, okay? You start a trade, starts going up, if you know what you're doing, if you're following me, if you're trading on the one minute chart, following the German pinpricks, applying game theory, and looking at trading on BitMEX, not as trading, but as a game of war, tactical warfare on the one minute chart. Now, do you take profits here? Now watch what happens. This is all in one, one session, let's say. You're up over 100% and everybody says I like this short. I make money long, short, indifferent. There's always money to be made on the one minute chart. When you're ready, you sit down, you look at the six hour, you see the direction of the day. If you have a clear direction, you go in on the one minute and you make your hand to hand combat moves. And that's how you have victory. But look, do you get out here? Oh my gosh, that wasn't meant for you, Sandra. So here is why you have to decide where you take profits. And this, this leads me to something else. Look at that same trade. Look at that same trade. I left all of this as examples for you to see. Now, wouldn't you rather have had 100% in both positions versus 7% or 2%? Even that was better. That was better. And this was all, oh, the brick, baby. The point of this video is you have to decide in your head where, how greedy you're going to be and when you're going to take profits. Your mind is your absolute worst enemy. If you got out here and you seen it keep going, you might have bought back in way higher and then you bought at the top. You have to really think. I feel that you're better off doing less trades more successful on each trade and grabbing that money. And I'm gonna tell you, in a microchasm, okay, not such an extreme example, but this also shows you why I don't do limit orders. It is stupid. You are stepping over $10 bills to pick up pennies. How? The example's right here. Let's say you're here. By the time, and you know how fast Ethereum moves, by the time you put in your order, hopefully you placed it right. Well, if it doesn't get bought, the market doesn't care. So now your gains just turned into this, half of what you had before. You gotta cancel the order and go and try to get it bought again. Look at these numbers, 25 and 63. Let's say by the time it got bought, this is what you really got. Do you understand now? 
stepping over $10 bills to pick up pennies. If you want to enter at a certain price, that's one thing. But when you got big gains, you don't let this shit run away from you. You hit that market button and you grab that. And I'm sure this has happened to so many of you. And this is one of the points I wanted to make in this video. So it's a, me personally, I do maybe zero to four trades in a day, maybe three. Some days I don't trade at all. If, there, if the market has no clear direction, I don't trade. If you don't know if you should go long and short, you need to go home. Okay, don't trade that day. The majority of the money is made when you are waiting like a wolf in the woods. And talking about wolves, we're gonna go out with something good. So the biggest thing I want you to remember is that this constantly, Ethereum, the ladies, Bitcoin, constantly goes up and down, okay? So we shot up out of nowhere today. What do you think is gonna happen tomorrow? You think it's gonna keep going back up to 200? Or you think that there's going to be a little pullback? Could run up a little bit more. But usually in the morning, we get big pumps out of New York. It starts around mm, 8.30 a.m. New York time or Eastern Standard Time for those of you in UTC and don't know where New York is. Anyway, I got things to do. Let's check out the ladies. I got something for you. Cryptocurrencies. There's channels about opportunities. But before I get started, I want you to know, in no means am I your financial advisor. I'm like the Robin Hood of crypto. The world is a hard enough place. And what I mean by Team Us is that it's you and I. Let's go get that money, baby. Nobody. They want your Bitcoin. I'm like the Robin Hood. Yeah, robbing the rich to take from the poor baby, telling you all the raw truth about trading and everything you need to know. Have a great day. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and do a friend a favor and tell them about this channel. Don't let friends trade stupidly.